Tulis. Welcome to a brand new video again. We just opened Dimension Force, guys, but you know, as per it being the newest set, we gotta go back in, back to the rabbit hole, try to pull a theory on King or a Starlight Rare, which we still have not gotten. <laughs> um, also forgot my freaking memory card, so I'm recording this one on my phone. Oh, that works. Maybe if it's better to record from my phone or record from my phone from now on. Still figuring it out, the list. Anyways, guys, before we get into this, make sure to check out 41games.ca for all of your Yu-Gi-Oh! singles. Be sure to use code Milano for 10% off your Yu-Gi-Oh! singles. I'd really appreciate that. And without further ado, let's get right into the opening. So, of course, Sirion King. He's the number one guy. Predaphon Tyrannus, devouring this guy. Vivid Tail, Matt Mauler, Navy Dragon Mac. Huh, it's like the it's like the Vermilion Dragon Mac. My goodness. Figure piece of cards up to the bro. Oh, I remember reading this card. I feel like I re read this one on in the last video. In the last uh defo. The weather forecast. <laughs> it's the new the weather painter cards. Oh god, I wish they weren't bad. But to my understanding they're bad. I played against them once in a regional and I was in a clear wash. Three on stand up, three on Duke, you yo, and then the Pasito, the Petici, the Petitio Couverture, Couvel Chill, Couvel Chill, maybe it's French, Couvel Chill. If this card in the must is destroyed, oh, I wonder what the purpose of this card is. The Weather Painter Moonbow, I clinching my teeth. It's okay, it's not too bad. I hear the card's good, it's just the weather paintings are not popular enough for it to be like fantastic pull. Titan Mohaka, that card's insane looking. Gentrude, I don't even know what this does. The special summon card cannot be sure of a battle. You can only use each effect of the Divine Dragon once per turn. You banish three from your graveyard under face of the field, destroy all cards your opponent controls. Bring the MPs, you can send cards up to the top to Oh I don't think, I don't think he's very good unfortunately. But that's a very cool gimmick strategy where you can just know the cards and then maybe eventually get three. You gotta have one on the field though in order to actually use his effect, so that's pretty difficult. Branded banishment. It's like slushy. <laughs> Did you guys know slushy? It's like that level one water monster slushy. You need to get literally all three copies for it to be able to do something. Ooh, the liberal master displays. I don't know if you guys know, but I am a big liberal master fan. The Liberal Masters are epic. They're one of my favorite decks from the new... Well, actually, I would say it is my new favorite archetype out of, like, these new packs. Like, it's definitely my newest favorite archetype. The arts are super nice. This playstyle is super fun. Extra Pendulum. Pendulum! The playstyle is super fun. The Liberal Masters are really, really fun, guys. If you haven't tried them already, strongly recommend it. They are a blast. Immortal Dragon. That's the new zombie monster. So I hear Virtual World sometimes plays it and does this combo with their dubbing Mizuki or something. Reverse Jar. Oh, Scareclaw Tryhard. Oh, this is one of the sucky, sucky secret rares. Unfortunately, no. I don't know much about the Tryhards. Unfortunately, I mean, the, the Scareclaw. Not, not enough people even talk about them for me to even know what they're supposed to do. Scareclaw Rival. Oh, these cards feel so weird like I can't I can't uh go through them properly. Shang-Chi the Spear Idol. Your main face send one zombie monster. This card's banish, banish one from your graveyard, special summon him. Not too bad, level six. Interesting. Psychic and Punisher. You see this card's not too bad. It's actually a really good card. The only thing is it's like $25. And by my calculations, those are two of our secret rares. <laughs> I could have sworn I didn't get it in the same pile though. So that's, I got it in the same pile though. I could be wrong, but that's weird. It is what it is, guys. You know, that is. those are the secret rares. But you know what? There could be a third if we get lucky. But also there could be a starlight rare because uh, we are lucky. And I really want to get it by now. It's been really a long, a lot of boxes we opened on the channel. We still haven't pulled a dang starlight rare. My goodness. My gracious. Oh, Red Eye Zombie Dragon Lord. Um, I hear the new guys are okay. 
they're not insane. Sullivan and Dance Peony. Interesting. Uh, I know, Sullivan's back in the day were super cool. They, they just soul charge won't fire the deck. The experience. Never meant to realize. Unless you flip a dang Kumo Shroomo. That guy used to go brazy. Mill five? Whoa. <laughs> Primitive plant Rick Recibiphobia. That is another bad ultra rare. Normally you want to go for the Therions and the Liberal Mancers. And I think even the Liberal Mancers are cheap for what they do, like for how decent they are. Oh my goodness, we're down to two packs, guys. I don't think we're getting a Starlight Rare. All those other cases, they stole our card, the Starlight Rare, because they got like 100 Starlights per case. We got zero. Oh my goodness. Ah, my bad. Ah, it is what it is, guys. Let's see what we got. Let's wrap it up. So we got the Primitive Plant Recyphobia, which adds a, a Scareclaw or Vivus Starfrost. Oh, this is... Vivis Starfrost is part of the Scareclaw archetype, huh? Oh, I didn't even know that. Red Eyes Zombie Dragon Lord. The art of this is mod. It's crazy. During your opponent's turn, target one zombie in your opponent in your graveyard, special summon it. Just Moss Reborn is a zombie once per turn. That's kind of underwhelming. Psychic and Punisher. Everybody knows he's kind of goaded. Scareclaw Tryhard. Yeah, I don't think he's very good. Uh. Yeah. Wait, yo, this card's actually in this card's actually okay. It just neg it makes himself unaffected by everything that's in defense. He's, he's kinda like a Baguska. Kinda like a Baguska. I wonder what his downsides are. Everything else. He does not negate the effects of monsters. He's just unaffected by them. Interesting. Well guys, well folks, I guess that'll wrap it up for today. Thank you, Duelists, for watching this very epic opening with me, the true Duelist Milano. Make sure to check out 401 Games still at the same time. Anyways, Duelists, you have yourself a beautiful day. Peace and love.